All right. Top 10 most dramatic moments ever in court. Is Red Robin good? Yes. Oh, no, their food's good as fuck. Christopher McNabb. Most dramatic moments. What would that even mean? Like outbursts, probably. This is Christopher McNabb, who is facing charges for the murder of his two-week-old child in Covington, Georgia. After the child's mother reported the baby missing to police, local law enforcement immediately launched a search. Later that night, McNabb is seen in front of TV cameras begging for his child back. I want my kid back, man. That's my child, man. I want my kid, man. The next day, the child's body was found in a nearby wooded area. The cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head, which was later ruled a homicide. McNabb was arrested and charged with the murder of his own two-week-old baby. After he was found guilty... Wow! Fat for the 300 minis. If I get Mr. Beast to release your video, can I see a picture of your grippers? If you get Mr. Beast to, to release the video, you wouldn't be able to do that. Certified for the 1,000 biddies. Uh, another 1,000 just because I love the stream. Thank you. Thank you for another 1,000 biddies certified uh, with three Ds. Guilty, we now move on to the sentencing. McNabb can then be heard claiming his innocence. I'm innocent. I didn't do it. I've maintained that the whole time. I would never do this. That's all I got to say. I would never do How it. How do they prove that he did it? Because they said they just, I, I don't know if this is just the, the guy doing this video did it, like, made one big jump. But they said they found the body in the woods, then he got arrested for it. How do they know he did it? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, it's just kind of like probable cause on how the fuck did they even obtain your child? Your two-week-old kid. You didn't bring them to, like, a grocery store or some shit. And now the judge. Like you're not going to leave your two-week, you're not going to leave your two-week-old kid in a car. And they're going to get fucking kidnapped. Like, they would have been kidnapped from the house. DJ for the 300 Bitties. Do you have any kids? Yes, a daughter. Five minutes later on the date. Oh, by the way, the daughter is a 10-month-old hamster. Let's McNabb unknowingly choose his own sentence. You claim you're innocent, so you tell me what sentence the man or woman that you claim did this should receive. If you ever find out who did them, they deserve to be under the jail. Okay, so they ought to get the maximum sentence. Most definitely. Okay. On the crime of malice murder, I sent you to life in confinement without <gasps> parole. On pursuing the death of another, I sent you to After McNabb was handed down the max sentence, he was moved to Hayes State Prison in Tryon, Georgia, where he is serving his life sentence. One life sentence or his entire life? Because a life sentence is only 25. Dude, that's nuts, though. Killing his two-week-old kid? How do they know he did it? This is Franklin Williams. Again, it's probably just like, if it wasn't the mom, like, how are you getting, how are you even getting the kid? Who is convicted? Life is 15. It's 25. It might be different by state. Oh, it varies by state. A life sentence varies depending on what state you're in. In most states, it's 25. Oh, and wow, it really varies depending on the state. In Iowa, a life sentence is a true life sentence, meaning you never get out. In New Jersey, it's 25. In some, in some it's 10. Okay, it's normally 25, though of multiple felonies, including armed robberies and fleeing police in Cleveland, Ohio. And only Dr. Again, I'm going to interrupt President Mr. Williams. Chris. Listen to me. I'm going to gag you in one second. Williams conducted three armed robberies before leading police on a high-speed chase. He was later arrested and Three convicted. robberies in a row in one day? Now, at his sentencing, Williams would not stop talking, despite more than a dozen warnings from the judge. You not let me that you means zip it right now. You trying to... Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. That's so, a violation of the hip hop law, Judge. Here we go. This resulted in the judge ordering Williams' mouth to be taped shut. If you oh. spit on... They can do that? They can tape your mouth shut in a court? Attempt to bite or injure any of my deputies, you're going to have a bad day. That's what it is. At a that, that ain't even fucking work. 
That ain't even fucking work. He can still talk. Court appearance. Williams has something to share with the judge and cameras. Freedom of speech. No duct tape. With the hashtags. Aside from all the interruptions, the judge can hand down Williams' sentence. I would face the potential maximum consecutive sentence of 134 years. I ordered a 24-year sentence. After Williams received a 24-year prison sentence, the judge later apologized for the duct tape and threw out that sentence. He then appointed a new judge, where she sentenced him to 33 years behind bars. <laughs> Bro, he gives him a he gives him a 24 sentence, a 24-year sentence. And that says, actually, I'm going to disregard the case because I, I, I got you duct tape. That's my bad. And then he gets seven more years. Wait, no, more. How many he got? He got nine more years, 24 to 33. Fuck, dude. I would say, all right, now, hold up. Can I get the other one? I'm fine with the duct tape. That fucking sucks. This is Kamia Gamet, who is charged with the murder of her boyfriend in Jackson, Mississippi. Reportedly, the attack happened during an argument between the two individuals and ended with the boyfriend being violently stabbed to death. Gamet wow. was arrested on first-degree murder charges. In court, Gamet would claim her murder was in self-defense and her boyfriend was attacking her. But in the end, she was found guilty of murder. The way I was portrayed, everything, mostly everything was lies. There was a little bit of truth, but mostly I was convicted of Lies. We now move into the sentencing, where Gamut reportedly kept interrupting the judge. You're gonna uh, shut your mouth, or I'm gonna have some duct tape put on it. With Gamut showing no. Are they allowed to duct tape your mouth shut in a fucking court? Are judges allowed to duct tape people's mouths? They're allowed to do that. Uh. Oh wow! The, the when I Google that, the first video that comes up is I that one guy. Any impact is that one guy that moved the sentence to somebody action. else, or the other judge, and then they got more. Twenty-four years in prison, he gave him, and then they got more. A judge can 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 a judge is allowed to order someone to be bound, gagged, duct taped, or removed from the courtroom. Wow, I did not know that. Well, because, yeah, if you if you just won't shut the fuck up, like, if you just keep talking, like, you could just yell. And then at that point, there's never going to ever, you're never going to be able to have the sentencing because they would just only be able to remove you. DJ for the 300 bitties, uh, already read that. Charge for the sub Berkeley for the 300 bitties. How's your Easter? You're my favorite streamer. Never fail to make me smile. Mine is good. How's yours? And thank you for the 300 bitties. Morse, the judge, has some final words. You stab, you stab, you stab, you stab until he was dead. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. You know? Whoa! If this was a death penalty state, you'd be getting the chair. In the end, Gamut was sent to- Damn, bro. Nah, like, but like, are judges not worried about that shit? Like, you sentenced- you sentence a motherfucker to life. They get out early. And they remember you saying to them that you hope they die. The first motherfucker they're killing is you. The first dude they're killing is the judge. Frigid's for the sub. Manic for the sub. Sentence to life in prison without the possibility of parole. This is Kimberly Kessar, who was charged with the murder of her co-worker in Nassau County, Florida. Jordan Beard is Jolene Cummings' cousin. Kessar was working- <laughs> What? Bro, she got the Crocs on, too. Cummings' cousin. Ke she came- Dude, is she chained to the chair? Beard is Jolene Cummings' cousin. Kessar was working at a Tangles hair salon under a fake name. She reportedly was on the run for 25 years and wanted in several states. She wouldn't be found until she brutally murdered her co-worker with scissors and- She was on the run for 25 years? Allegedly disposed of her body. This is Kessar- How did she pay taxes? See, that's what I ain't getting, right? You're working under a fake name. You fill out a tax form. Am I wrong? You fill out a tax form where the fuck you're working at. You can't fake that. Unless they're getting paid under the table. Then they're living off cash for 25 years. DJ from the 300 Would you ever play Terraria? Uh, on stream, probably not. 
Have you ever heard of catcoast fishing? I played the entire game on stream. Uh, not cash for the side. Sir, after she was arrested and awaiting side. trial. Are we on mute anyway, so I can say whatever the f I want? We're not on mute. Oh, okay. And this is what it was like to supervise her. Ooh. This is Kessar after she was arrested and awaiting trial. Are we on mute yeah. anyway, so I can say whatever the f I want? We're not on mute. Oh, okay. And this is what it was like to supervise her in jail. Again, to remove feces from styrofoam trays in the back of her cell and smear it on herself in the walls. She began to throw feces at Smith and Miller and I. Ew, 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 ew. Bro, she was throwing shit at people. Are we on mute yeah. anyway, so I can say whatever the f I want. We're not on mute. Oh, uh, okay. And this is what it was like to supervise her in jail. She began to remove feces from styrofoam trays in the back of her cell and smear What do you mean feces from styrofoam trays smear it on the walls? Smear on herself in the walls. She began to throw feces at Smith, Miller, and I. Now in the trial, she had to go to a separate room due to her outbursts. I and she continuously made false claims about her former public defender. Jordan Beard is Jolene Cummings' cousin! Jordan Beard is Jolene's cousin! She was later found guilty of first-degree murder and was sentenced to life in prison without parole. <laughs> Bro, you ever look at people, though, and you want to know what it's like to think like them? Like, that's what I'm thinking right now. Like, she was like, yeah, let me smear shit on the walls. And every time I'm in here, let me just start ranting about how my public defenders are cousin. Rather than actually saying anything of substance. Like, not only just, like, well, I think about that with, like, regular people. Like, oh, what it's like to be, like... My girlfriend, what it's like to think like your parents, what it's like to think like your friends. But, like, especially in these scenarios when, like, somebody goes on, like, a murderous rampage, like, what was their thoughts like? This is Kyandria Cook, who was found guilty of carjacking charges in Volusia County, Florida. 18-year-old Cook and her then 17-year-old boyfriend had used a dating app to set up a carjacking, where the boyfriend reportedly shot the victim, leaving him seriously injured. After fleeing the scene and being on the run, the pair attempted another carjacking just two days later, but they were arrested. Now in court, Cook stands in front of- They about to go sell it to the mechanic in GTA. About to get 4K for a fucking Tahoe. The judge for her involvement in the theft and shooting. Is she guilty of all three charges? Sentence you to 20 years in state prison. <laughs> oh, that is that Cook's mom? mother that can be heard crying. <laughs> well, why'd they shoot? But like, okay, can I ask what is the point of a carjacking? Like, say you steal somebody's car and get away with it. You can't sell the car. Like, you get the car, you can't sell the car. You steal the car, then what? Right? You drive it to drive a nice car. Yeah, but then you get pulled over, and now they know it's not your car. It's not under your registration. Sell the parts. I'm assuming if you jack a car, the only way to make money from a car jacking is, is ripping it to parts and selling it for parts. But even then... Like, if you separate car parts and you just sell them individually, like an average car, you're not going to make that much money. Like, you might make, like, 8K, but 8K for a fucking wager of getting sentenced 20 years in prison? Like, that's not, that's not an even wager, right? That's not like you're stealing a Lambo and then getting the price of the Lambo. Reportedly, the reason for this very emotional outburst is there was a miscommunication with the assistant public defender, where Cook and her mother thought she wouldn't face any prison time. <laughs> any prison time? The reason for this very emotional outburst is there was a mis- Oh my god, so they thought she was just gonna get like probation? communication with the assistant public defender where cook and her mother thought she wouldn't face any prison time <laughs> well shouldn't the boyfriend get a worse sentence if he's the one that shot the guy <laughs> cook's sentence was later reduced to 11 years in prison that's still nuts dude 
She's 18. She'll get out when she's 29. This is Jacob Morgan, who at 17 years old was found guilty of setting a house fire that killed a family member in Rock Hills, South Carolina. Morgan was left alone to look after his 14-month-old- Why do I remember this? Why do I know this kid's face? I probably saw a TikTok clip of him. Stepbrother and reportedly prosecuted. Oh, he is the TikTok guy. Okay, immediately when I look over, my chat's talking about it. Peter said Morgan intentionally set the fire that killed his family member. In court, Morgan is at a probable cause hearing. Listen as the judge speaks. So therefore, I am going to find that there is probable cause to charge the individual for general session court. Why did you set your own house on fire? Can I just ask? Is he surprised? Why would he set his own house on fire? What? I'm like, I like, like he's shocked. Oh, there's probable cause. In is at a probable cause hearing. Listen as the judge speaks. So therefore, probable cause to do it himself, or probable cause to kill the kid? Is are they saying there's like he meant to set the fire, or he meant to set the fire to kill the kid? I'm going to find that there is probable cause to charge the individual. It's for murder and arson. It was for April Fools. Oh, God, stop. There is probable cause he's crying. April Fools! You forget what day it was? I'm just kidding, buddy. You're going to get parole, man. It's not that. I'm just kidding, man. All you got to do is pick up trash for a month. I'm kidding, man. Nah, that would be fucking insane. Or the vice versa. Nah! Nah, somebody, somebody's getting charged for murder. All right, we're going to sentence you for five years in a parole. And they're like, thank you, thank you, thank you. April Fool's, you're getting life in prison. Damn, are you allowed to do that as a judge? That would be nuts. That would be the craziest thing ever. To fucking do an April Fool's joke, they're all happy, and then you give them life. Bro, that would be the worst, that would be the worst day ever for them. <laughs> Morgan settled for a plea deal where he pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter and unlawful neglect of a child. However, he stated he loved his brother and he always maintained his innocence. I love my brother. I still do to this very day. He's my best friend. To kill him and be killing pieces myself. And I just wish I could have gotten to him in time. Morgan was sentenced to 15 years in prison, but after serving only seven years, he reportedly was released. Oh, so this was a while ago. This is Ignacio Rodriguez, who is the suspect in the death of his four-month-old son in San Antonio, Texas. Reportedly, the child suffered a fractured skull and severe bleeding to the brain. Rodriguez was the lead suspect and was taken into custody. Now in court, Rodriguez stands in front of the judge where he is now facing a capital murder charge. But reportedly, he instead pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of intentional- Dude, but getting more than like five years in prison, I feel like that's like an uncomprehendable amount of time. Am I wrong? Like imagine you're standing there in cuffs and they sentence you to 30 years in prison and you're 20. Like, that is longer than you've been alive. Like, if you went 30 years back, you wouldn't exist. Like, you're living your entire life over again and more. You don't know. Like, that's literally like getting, even getting sentenced like 10, 15 years. Like, that's getting sentenced for like most of the people in chat. That's getting sentenced most of your life. Kenny for the sub. The talk for the 400 biddies. Uh, that's my, that's in my state, South Carolina. Which one? AKA for the South Care for the 300 biddies. Would you ever play Overcooked 2 with Zeusie and JoJo? I would. Overcooked 2 does seem fun. It's on sale right now. I'll check it out. Nathaniel for the sub, not cash for the sub. I have seen Overcooked 2 uh, gameplay though. Or knowing injury to a child causing serious bodily injury. Mr. Rodriguez, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Guilty. The judge now hands down his sentence. It is the order of the court that you be sentenced to 50 years confinement. See, like, you're gonna, like, what's the point of you? Like, he's gonna be dead. You know what I mean? Like, like, if you're getting released from prison at the age of 70, like, at that point, it's already fucking scuffed. Like, you don't, how, you can't get money now. No one you know is alive. Everyone you know is dead. You have only friends in prison. Like, I, even if you get released, you can't work. 
Like, it would make more sense at that point to just stay in prison. But this is the moment. Some that people the want to go back in jail. I know. There's a lot of people that do that. There's a lot of people that, um, like, a lot of uh, homeless people will do that. Um, will commit, like, a minor crime. Like, they'll go and rob, like, something from a store. And they'll just repeatedly rob something from a store just so they get arrested and go to jail for, like, six years. Just so they have somewhere to live. The baby's yeah, mother. shelter and food. Confronts Rodriguez. I can't run in anything of what you did to our son. And for that, I can't ever see myself forgiving you. You were supposed to be our protector, not the one to break our hearts. When the mother starts talking wow. about her other child, Rodriguez insists that she tells the truth. As she gets older, she will start asking questions. Uh, then tell her the truth. If I tell her the truth. Tell her the truth. Tell her how everything was supposed to be. Tell her the whole truth. Don't don't lie to her. Tell her the whole truth. Tell her the whole truth. The whole truth. Court officials quickly remove Rodriguez out what of the whole truth. Courtroom. Tell her the whole truth. Man. Oh, that He's she was involved? He's currently serving his 50-year prison sentence. Damn, she might have been involved. That he killed her? Yeah, but, like, she could have been involved, too. And she just might not be getting shit. Barrel for the 300 bitties. This is Damon Kemp. He is charged with the Oh, yeah, this one about to be crazy. Buddy coming in. Buddy coming into the courtroom. <laughs> I'm funny. Yeah, that one's about to be nuts. Well, murder of what his is he roommates? about to say? Damn. He coming in fucking screaming. In Daytona Beach, Florida, police were called to investigate a burglary at an apartment complex. And it was here Kemp allegedly confessed to the murders. He was originally staying with his two roommates when both individuals were shot several times in the apartment. During Kemp's bond hearing, Demi he's killed his roommates? Now escorted into court in a wheelchair. Carol from the Three Bits, Nimble from the Three Bits. Look at the guy who sentenced himself to life in, prison, uh, life in prison without parole. Funniest clip ever. Nimble, if you're referencing Christopher McNabb, uh, we just watched that clip. God! God! Oh, somebody, somebody's redeeming flex. God! God! The judge tries to get Kemp's attention, but he's completely ignored. Mr. Kemp? God! Damon Kemp, I'm going to conduct your first appearance. God! For the victim's family, it got so tough, they had to walk out. Kemp is currently in the Volusia County Jail, awaiting his trial. Oh, he hasn't even gotten sentenced? This is Erica Butts and Shanita Cunningham. They were both charged with homicide by child abuse in Somerville, South Carolina. Butts, who was best friends with the child's mother, was supposed to be caring for the toddler for two weeks. The child was only three years old. She died from her injuries, reflecting weeks of torture. A time frame that matched the time she had spent with Butts and her lover at the time, Cunningham. Ah, uh, torturing a kid? Oh, it must have been the excruciating sounds that came from that child is more than disconcerting to this court. After both women were found guilty, the judge now hands down their sentence. The court finds it appropriate that each be sentenced to the State Department of Corrections for a period of life. They were just sentenced to life in prison. Oh, damn! Butts and Cunningham are reportedly at separate prisons serving their life sentences. Two Inch said two ads, Joe. Really? Two Inch, you clicked off my stream and clicked back on. I don't run mid-rolls. You ain't a sub anymore, Two Inch. Henfa for the sub. I don't run mid-rolls. I only run pre-rolls. You left my stream and came back, so you got an ad. I had to refresh. That's your fault. That's not... Buddy, you are like, I only run pre-roll ads. <laughs> this is... How the fuck do you not run mid-rolls? Because I'm not a streamer that, uh, you know, I'm not... Hey, I ain't trying to throw streamers under the bus. But, like, I ain't need the bread for that. I ain't need the bread for that. I'll run mid-rolls in on YouTube. Yeah, I can make an extra fucking five grand a month if I ran mid-rolls. I don't. I mean, how do you turn them off? Oh, you can just turn them off. You don't need to run mid-rolls. Just go to your uh, your Twitch settings. 
I only run pre-rolls. I have pre-rolls on and I have mid-rolls off. You could just turn them off. There's a switch. I mean, like, mid-roll, like, I could go on my Twitch right now and run a mid-roll. Like, if I and went I to my stream, off. you could just turn Hold on. If I went to my stream manager, I could run a mid-roll right now. Like, I could run a fucking two-minute ad right now. I'm not going to click the button. I ain't going to... I ain't gonna click the button. There's a button right there, though, that says run two-minute ad break. I'm not gonna do it. But, like, I could make, yeah, another, like, four grand a month if I wanted to... Not not probably five. I said five. Probably, like, four. If I ran XQC-type ads, I that that's what I could do. Like, e, the big streamers... Have you ever watched an XQC? XQC, Kai Sinat, any of those streamers? It's because every time they click the button, they got 60K viewers. They're making $1,000 every time they click the button. Not a thousand, maybe like five hundred. But like every time I would run a one minute ad, I would probably make like thirty bucks. But there's no need. Drew's for the sub, hen, hen for the sub. I'd rather like I'd rather just take the loss on that. Have y'all not have to watch the ads, right? I mean, like, yeah, the non subs have to watch pre rolls, but you're watching one thirty second ad, then you can watch me non stop for three hours. Zipply for three hundred bitties. Can you say hi, Jaden, Johnny, and Cash? Hello. That's 2,000 V-Bucks. It would actually be less. Because say I streamed, say I streamed, let, let's actually do the math. Say I ran three mid-roll ads a stream. So I was making $90 a stream. I streamed like 25 days a month. I would make like an extra 2K. It's just, like, I'll just not do that. Like, and then y'all don't have to, because it's annoying. You know, Like, you know when you have to watch a YouTube ad and you can skip it or you just get up and go use the bathroom? When you're missing, when you have to watch a stream ad, you miss what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, I tried to run mid-rolls, but I just feel bad about it. Just because, like, then you miss what I'm doing. You can't rewind. You just miss two minutes of my stream. Especially because, like, a YouTube ad will be, like, 30 seconds, right? Have you ever seen uh, a fucking XQC ad that's six 30-second ads in a row? It's the ad schedule that you turn off? Yeah. You would turn off the ad schedule. But I understand why streamers run ads, especially if they're streamers that mainly do stream. But I have a different source of income, so I don't need to do that, right? Like, if I was only if I was only a Twitch streamer and I didn't do YouTube or TikTok, I would be like, okay, yeah, I'll run mid-rolls. But since I do YouTube and the majority of my money actually comes from YouTube, there's no need for me to run mid-rolls. Stop saying do it, chat. Y'all actually want me to run a fucking ad? No need for me to run mid-rolls. I will run one 30-second ad. And then everybody shut up. I don't even know where I can do a 30-second one. One one 30-second ad. I'm running one. See, like, I haven't... That was the, that was the first time I ran an ad since Splitgate. Look, 30 seconds remaining. Spooky for the sub. Drew's for the sub. If you're a sub, you won't get an ad. Subs don't get ads. So all the subs, hello. How are, how are all the subs doing? And some of the followers don't get it. They disperse it, right? Twitch has a method to where they'll only give some followers ads, right? Because if they gave every single follower an ad, then not everybody would be, like, no one would be on stream. So some subs, all subs didn't get an ad, but some followers got an ad. Or didn't get an ad as well. See, the ad's over. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody that just watched a 30-second ad. Was it for Taco Bell? What was it for? What was the ad for? Was it for, was it for Amer oh, American Express? It was for DoorDash. Oh, lovely. Burger King, TurboTax. Pluto and Jalen for the sub. Spooky for the sub. Love how half of y'all got TurboTax ads when most of you guys don't even pay taxes yet. Emily for the sub. Anthony Kirkland, who is a convicted serial killer in Cincinnati, Ohio. They say I am evil and a monster. They're right. Even my mom hated me, but I don't blame her. Kirkland had previously served a 16-year prison sentence for the killing. How do you get defined as a serial killer? Like, how many people do you have to kill to be a serial killer? A serial killer is a person who committed a series of murders. So it depends. Typically following uh, with no apparent motive. Following a predictable behavior pattern. So they just like killing people. Oh, three or more people. 
To be a serial killer, you have to kill at least three people. But over time, you can't kill three people in one day. Kali for the sub, Scone for the sub, the king for the sub. Of his ex-girlfriend a few years. Yo, you know what I will shout out though? Amazon Prime. Haven't done a shout out for this in about, yay, six months. If you have Amazon Prime, you get Twitch Prime for free. In which case, you get one free sub per month, which you can use on any streamer of your choice. All you have to do is like your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. And every time you sub to me, now you have a cool little sub badge and I get $2.50. Cup of Noodles and Logan, thank you for the subs with Prime. Lovely. Lovely. YT goes for the sub with Prime. Look, just made $7 right there. Easy ass fucking call out. $7, bitch. $7, bitch. That's a fucking Chipotle sub. Not sub. That's a Chipotle burrito right there. Years after his release, Kirkland begun his killing spree. Over a three year period, he killed four women, two of them being teenagers. Kirkland was arrested after his fourth murder as he was caught with one of the victim's watch and iPod, which made him a lead son. You know what's crazy though, is there's people like that you might have passed that got away with murder. Cause like say he didn't kill that fourth person, he might have never been found. Freezing Caesarius for the sub and Sir for the sub. Like, there's people that have probably murdered, like, five people and have n and will never be found. Suspect. Eventually, police were able to pin all the murders to Kirkland. Now in court, as the charges are being read out, Kirkland is facing the death penalty. And next, he appears to faint. Count four, aggravated murder. <laughs> Kirkland was later found guilty on all charges and sentenced to death. He is currently on death row awaiting his execution at the Chillicothe. Yeah, but he'll be on death row for 15 years. When you're on, when, death row's a while, dude. Correctional facility. Oh, shit. Damn, they really trying to clickbait me here. Five most brutal killers reacting to a death sentence. This... Do we watch it? Yes. Is Michael Brady, who attempted a prison escape that resulted in the death of four prison workers at Pasco Tank Correctional Institution in North Carolina. I stabbed him like four to eight times. I hit Jeffrey Howe until he stopped moving. I don't know how many times I hit him with a hammer. Brady was facing 24 years in prison for an attempted murder conviction after he shot at a North Carolina state trooper. And four years into his sentence, Brady and three other inmates brutally murdered four prison workers with hammers and scissors. Wow. That man, Michael Brady, beat that man, George Midget, like he was trying to bust concrete. Brady then tried to hop a fence, but then was captured. Wait, he was already in prison? At gunpoint. It was like a bloodbath. And I stepped in between Jeffrey and Wendy, and I slid trying to get in because the whole elevator floor was nothing but blood. During the trial, the prosecutors argued that Brady was the one who planned the attack. And How do no you defend him? Like, I always look at it. You know what I mean? Like, some some crimes, obviously, like, if it's just a base murder case, it'd be like, okay, he didn't do it. Okay, plea insanity. Okay, other this shit. Right? He's already in prison, walked in, and bludgeoned, like, four people to death. How the fuck do you defend him? You, The only plea is insanity. The only plea. XV for the sun. No remorse for the killings. We know You ask for more evidence. More evidence. There's a video of him killing them. Who originated the plan? We know who led the plan. After Brady is found guilty, he now takes the stand at his sentencing. I'm gonna tell the truth. You can ask me anything you want. I'm gonna tell the truth. Whether it hurts me, whether it helps me, I don't care about that. You don't believe you're crazy, do you? No. I don't think I'm crazy, no. And you do know the difference between right and wrong? Yes. So you know murder is wrong? <laughs> murder is a different name for a death, but yes. Your freedom meant more than their lives. Yes. And now the judge reads out the jury's recommendation. The jury unanimously recommended that the defendant be sentenced to death. Brady? <laughs> nah! Unanimously? The whole jury just said, yeah, can we, uh, can we say this guy could die? He seems completely emotionless, and the judge later agrees on the death penalty, where wow. he now sits locked up in Colorado, awaiting his death sentence. This is Austin Myers and Timothy Mosley. They were both convicted. I will say, though, like, if you're doing something to the level that you're going to receive death, 
Like, it's pretty bad. You know what I mean? That's why most people that get death aren't really surprised. Like, you're not running a stop sign and receiving death, right? Like, you've killed, like, ten people, and you're receiving death. Like, that's not, like, some fucking minute thing where, oh, oh, I, I robbed a few stores. They're gonna fucking kill me. Like, that, you'd be surprised if you got that. Did ...of murdering 18-year-old Justin How Bath. do they kill you? Uh, in the United States, only some states allow the death penalty. Uh, I believe New Jersey is not one of them. Um... Most states do not. I think it's many southern states allow the death penalty now. Um, but it's generally speaking lethal injection. Uh, they'll inject you with something that will make you fall asleep and your heart stops. But they used to kill people by electric chair, hanging, firing squad, whatever. They used to do a lot of shit. But now I believe the only death penalty uh, or the only death method that they would use is lethal injection. What states allow the death penalty? Let's look at a let's look at a picture. This is the first image. So, as you can see, hold up. These are the states that allow the green is they allow the death penalty. Wow, that's actually more than I thought. Uh most northern states the death penalty is illegal. Uh and then moratorium uh, is, I don't even know what the fuck moratorium is, but apparently three of them death penalties legal, including Pennsylvania, <clears throat> but it's moratorium. I don't know what that means. Uh, but a, a lot of states it's, it's becoming illegal. All right. Back to the vid. Back in Waynesville, Ohio, the two men, Myers and Mosley, went to Back's house in an attempt to rob a safe that belonged to his father. During the robbery, Back was strangled with a choke wire. The idea of strangling him, that way it would create no mess, uh, pretty much be an easier job to handle. Uh, obviously, Justin was trying to put up a fight and he wasn't overpowering us. Justin Back was then stabbed 21 times until he died. Justin was trying to ask us why. He was pleading to stop and pretty much begging for his life. On trial, Mosley testified against Myers to obtain a plea bargain where he pled guilty and was sentenced to life in prison. Finally, for Myers, he takes the stand in front of the jury asking them to spare his life for his family in hopes of avoiding the death sentence. If you choose for me to die, it's only going to cause more pain and suffering for another family, not me. It won't hurt me. I won't feel anything. It's going to hurt more innocent people. This is now the father of Justin Back speaking. I'm not going to stand up here and tell you how much I hate you. That is without question. I would just hope that every time... Damn, you your dad just said he hates you. Fuck. As you rise at night, you see my son, Justin. After the jury recommended the death sentence, this is Meyer's last chance to plead for his life. In Wait, did his dad say he hates the judge or him? In front of the judge. I think there's a lot of good things I can do with my life if you allow me to keep my life. And the judge. Why'd you kill someone? Judge doesn't buy it. He hands down the maximum sentence. The defendant does not understand how precious life is. Therefore, the sentence of death shall be imposed upon Austin Gregory Myers on the charge of aggravated murder. Nothing but a slight nod. At just 19 years old, this made Myers the youngest Ohio individual to be put on death row. Yo, I thought he was like 30. He's 19? Bro, he is currently awaiting his execution at Chillicothe Correctional. Damn, he'll die before he's like 50 institution there were so many lives destroyed by this and it was just for nothing i mean there was no money in the safe there was nothing in there they did this for basically nothing oh they killed him and then they got nothing out this of this is nico jenkins who was convicted on four counts of murder when he went on a killing spree in the span of 10 days in omaha nebraska at 15 years old jenkins was sent to a youth correctional facility and served a 10-year sentence in prison for carjacking and assault a month after his release jenkins shot and killed two individuals in a robbery. Eight days later, his next victim was a former inmate he originally met in prison. He was shot and killed in his own garage. Two days after that, Jenkins killed his fourth victim in a carjacking. Jenkins was arrested for Why unrelated- Why did he kill somebody he met in prison? charges, but it was here that cops were able to pin the ammo used in one of the killings to Jenkins. You not realize I got Nico Jenkins? 
Do you not realize that? I got Nico Jenkins. I got you. What do you mean you got me? I got your DNA at the murder scene. I got your DNA in the car. Sir. I got the weapon. I got Nico Jenkins. Jenkins pleaded no contest to four counts of first degree murder. He also waived his right to a jury trial, meaning a three judge panel will decide if he is innocent or guilty. Each one of these murders- Wait, you can decide if you want judges to choose over the jury? Also waived his right to a jury trial, meaning a three judge panel will decide if he is innocent or guilty. Each one of these murders was a deliberate and planned act. The victims were pre-selected and the murders were purposeful. After Jenkins is found guilty of all- What is easier to convince ra random people that you're innocent rather than a judge? That is facts. You could, con you could convince like just a regular jury not to kill you over the judge. Because the judge is just going to be like by the book. Four murders, he sits still with a little movement. And now comes his sentence. Therefore, this panel finds that the death penalty is appropriate, should be, and is hereby given for each of the four murders by the defendant. As Jenkins is sentenced to death, he seems to be completely unfazed. He is currently incarcerated at the Nebraska State Penitentiary awaiting his death sentence. This is Martez Abram, who was convicted on two counts of murder for the killings of two Walmart employees in South Haven, Mississippi. Abram had worked at the Walmart but was faced with a suspension after he apparently had a knife on him in the store. The day he was suspended, he returned to the store with multiple weapons and opened fire, killing store managers Anthony Brown and Brandon Gales. He was laying on the ground. Bro, it sucks too because like, bro, those people that he killed were just regular ass workers. Like they didn't do anything. They probably went to work that day just thinking it was a regular ass day and then they got fucking murdered. It's the same thing with like school shootings and everything. Like you're just sitting there thinking everything's fine and then you just die. And I ran up to him and I looked at him. I said, Anthony, honey, please say Casey one more time. He also shot an officer who survived due to his bulletproof vest. Once I got out of my vehicle, I heard gunshots and I felt the pressure of the bullet hit my back. He was arrested on site, now in court. Abram admits to all crimes. That's you, is it, sir? Yes. Look at it, please, sir. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Gale. Is on the floor going down at this point, isn't he? Yes. Okay, and that's you shooting him, right? Yes. Look at the screen. Why is he acting like do you think he's seriously distraught? I feel like you just act distraught. <laughs> Mr. Gale. Yeah, trying to act like sad or like freaked out about it. Is on the floor going down at this point, isn't he? Yes. Okay, and that's you shooting him, right? Yes. Look at the screen, sir. Yes. That's you shooting him. Yes. And you admit that you shot him in cold blood? Yes. You shot him again, didn't you? Yes. After that, you went back to the call paper all, didn't you? <laughs> What the fuck? This is one of the victim's wife delivering a victim impact statement. He took Anthony from me on the exact day, 20 years earlier, that we had our first date. And now this is when the judge will decide Abram's fate. In count one, I will sentence you to death. Count two, you will be sentenced to death. In count three, you will be sentenced to life in the penitentiary. As Abram hears that he will be receiving the death penalty, oh, he, he stands silently, down. where he now sits on death row awaiting his execution. Oh no, what the fuck? See, like, why are they acting all fucking emotional there? And then when he gets death, it's not that big of a deal. Shape this is Markeith Lloyd, who is convicted of murdering a police officer in Orlando, Florida. I'm facing the death chair, but somehow I have, I have absolutely don't know nothing about it. And they frame me, they frame me. Lloyd was already on the run from the police after he killed his former girlfriend, who was pregnant with his child. A Ooh, and you get a double sentence for that, don't you? If you kill a pregnant woman, you get charged twice, I think, right? If you kill somebody who's pregnant, that's two murders. Or no? Uh, well, it depends. I, it's probably how pregnant they are. Like, it's not like, oh, you were pregnant two days ago. It was like, you're like, you're like showing. If you kill a pregnant woman, is that two murders?
You get charged with murder and fetal homicide, which is a different crime. That's a crazy search. I know. Month later. I realized that after I searched it. <laughs> Yo, they're going to be looking at me. They're going to be saying, damn, Joe, what the fuck are these searches? Lloyd is spotted in a Walmart. You can see him walking in. Moments later, Orlando Police Lieutenant Deborah Clayton pulls in. You can see her grab a cart and walk in. Reportedly, they cross paths every few minutes. Outside the store, Lieutenant Clayton was notified and she tried to stop and arrest Lloyd when a shootout begun. Lieutenant Clayton was killed during the interaction, being shot four times. Following the murder, Lloyd took off again, which led to a nine-day manhunt, where he was later found. During the arrest, he tried to escape where he lost his left eye in the altercation. Wow. Here in court, Lloyd took the stand. Reportedly, he believed everyone was out to kill him. And I was just reacting, Mayor. I was just reacting. Even when they opened the door, I just reacted. I just reacted. I fired two shots. I just reacted. The jury then found him guilty. It really hurts deep down his heart. This is Lieutenant Clayton's sister giving a victim impact statement. She stood in the place as my mother when I didn't have one. I truly miss my sister. I truly miss her. And this is the moment that Lloyd hears that the jury unanimously recommends the death sentence. We, the jury, unanimously find that the defendant, Marquis Floyd, should be sentenced to death. Lloyd seems to mouth something out to the public. A few moments later, Lloyd has an outburst. Alright, why don't we remove Mr. Lloyd from the courtroom? The judge later agreed with the jury and sent Lloyd to death, where he now sits behind bars waiting for his death sentence. Wow. Bro, those are some good ass videos though. The fucking compilations they do. Alright. Next video.